Hey guys, welcome to the third podcast of the Trailer Boys. I am joined with Zach. What's up, Zach? Hey, how's it going? So uh, today, me and Zach are going to be tackling a new topic, our big question. We're going to start it off. This uh, podcast is going to be focused on deep thoughts, specifically. You have anything to add to that? Yeah, I think we'll just, uh, we have it broken down in the different kind of societal chats, personal chats we want to have that are a little more a little more serious than uh, talking about the trailer falling apart or who's going to win the football games. Um, we'll still keep it lighthearted, but there's some good stuff there to sink into a little more. And uh, this is the perfect time to do it and kind of create something positive out of it. Yeah. So, guys, uh, we have a big question of the day. Our big, new big question is, how to stay positive in today's world? So, uh, we know this is a tricky one that uh, a lot of people go through. Um, positivity is very hard to find, but all you have to do is try to figure out how to turn on the light. All right, Zach, you want to start us off? Yeah, so I guess I'll start with the context to this. Um, this stems from some conversations we had about there's a lot of crap on social media. and People feel like they turn on the news, whatever news channel it is, and they feel just a sense of doom. And it would be really easy to feel like everything's falling apart, but there is a way to stay positive in that. So for me, it's kind of well-rounded. Um, there's a social media aspect to it. What are you consuming? What are you really bringing into your heart and your mind? And how are you responding to that? Who are you surrounding yourself with? And I think we'll dig into those a little deeper. But it just, you know, what what environment are you creating for yourself? And that might not get every answer for you. But that's really the gist of it is what can you do to surround yourself with positivity and then effectively react to negative things so that way, you know, we can create a positive environment for ourselves but the people around us. Because it doesn't always have to be the way that it is if we do the right thing to make a positive change. Really well put, Zach. Thanks. So, uh, <laughs> so, um... So Zach, it's for Zach is uh he gains positivity from multiple different areas, but I mostly just uh mine for example, how I try to stay positive is around the people I surround myself with. So my family members, my friends, kind of like Zach. Um, social media is a big one. I I actually like updates and stuff and hearing about what's going on, but um a big contributing factor is my hobbies. I I like making music and. Uh, I work on my model trains. As uh, corny as that sounds, it's actually it's very calming for me, and I I, I do enjoy it. So um, you have to do those calming things. Yeah, you just have to chill yourself out. That's a big thing is staying positive. It's just chill the heck out. Goes for you. Goes for me. Goes for everyone. What do you need to do to chill out? Like honestly, like not just like for the moment, like on a bigger picture. Chill. Oh, for sure. Just That's don't tangent. don't let the little things uh, just add up, guys. Just sometimes you just gotta in interact with uh, forgiveness and just let let some stuff go. Like ah, I broke my pencil, or ah crap, I just dropped my phone, the screen shattered. Uh, this is gonna be a big deal. It's gonna set me back. Just it's all right. Take a deep breath. You you chill. <laughs> Hey, it, if your phone screen cracks, it will be okay. Fall of 2016, this guy did a dab and knocked my phone out of my hands and I cracked the screen and I had it that way for about nine more months and I made it. It was okay. Everything you will make is okay. It. That's hilarious. Seven years later, eight <laughs> years later. Dude, when that happened, I was like, nah, your screen didn't crack. No, it cracked. And then you showed me on the bus. It's like, yeah. I was surprised how chill you were about that, too. Like, most people would be like, dude, what the hell, man? You're just yeah, like, no, oh, that's <laughs> unfortunate. <laughs> it's not the end of the world. At the end of that phone's life, which was months later, I had dropped it a few more times. Like, the whole thing was separating. Now mine's actually, like, smooth. So, not going to Oh, wait. yeah. Thankfully, so it's not. Oh, it's fine. 
Yeah, you live and you learn and you get better at when you make mistakes. Uh, mistakes are important because they shape you as who you are and you can learn a lot from yeah. your mistakes, but you have to make sure you give yourself the opportunity to learn. If you mess up really bad, the number one thing you can do is forgive yourself, but then also try to learn from what happened and course correct yourself to not make it happen again. And if it does happen again, then you can double learn times too, you know? Yeah. And I, um, I even think on that note, getting a little more deeper back to like my high school and college relationships. Yeah. Those were always on the up and up, you know, not really, but you know, you, that's probably why I take that so seriously now. Oh, what? Just learning from your mistakes? Yeah, approaching, approaching. I mean, not just that thing, but a lot of things just in general, a little more intentionally and kind of really thinking about what's best for me um, and best for the world around me instead of just living in the moment mm -hmm. and trying to just have a quick little, you know, you know, spontaneous, whatever that is and whatever you're doing. I mean, it, that applies to all aspects of life. Kind of derailing the, uh, going to try to, de going to derail the uh, subject a little bit here, but Zach brought up a really great point. Instant gratification versus yeah. eternal happiness. Yeah. That's something we can go into later as, as well, because yeah. that, we could have an entire podcast on that. That, that is probably shaping today's modern society more than everything with uh, TikToks and whatnot. So, good old um, TikTok. <laughs> um okay so surrounding yourself with the right people that's uh yeah that's a good <laughs> one that's it's deep that's a deep one i uh are you going first or am i because i, uh, I kind of got something. if you have something go ahead because i'm still <laughs> i'm still thinking back here man <laughs> we'll have to keep this part in the podcast too. Um, <laughs> anyway, so I, I think back to even a few months ago, I knew what I believed, but I didn't have the, I shouldn't say I didn't have, I didn't have as big of a structure around me of other people that believed the same thing. So I felt kind of like, you know, I'll say lonely because I knew there were other people around me, but I just hadn't built that up until you invited me to that group one day and I met a bunch of people that, you know, I could surround myself with. Um, so I think it's really important to be intentional with, are you surrounding yourself with people that believe most of what you believe? You're going to have disagreements all the time. I mean, we do once in a while. I do with my other friends all the time. That's not, you know, those small disagreements are whatever, but do they truly believe um, in the values you believe in? Are they going to lift you up as a person? Um, you know, and it's really hard to cut yourself away from somebody that's not going to lift you up and be there for you. And, you know, sometimes being with the right person as a friend or whatever means they're going to kind of stick it out, you know, when things get rough, whatever that means. And are they willing to, you know, put in the hard work for your shared visions? You know, we have these shared visions about where we're going with certain things and, you know, we kind of have to, you know, put in the groundwork. And really think where do we want to go that sort of thing um, so i would say that's most important is just finding people that at the core believe in the same core principles you believe in and when we mean core principles guys we we're we're, we're talking specifically about um uh just foundational beliefs so like mm -hmm. um when like more um what's morally okay and what morally isn't that's yeah. like if 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 you agree upon stuff like that it's very easy to get along with people um we we're not talking like about beliefs as in like oh this guy likes uh, this political candidate better than this political candidate we're not talking about that those people are good it's good to have friends with people that spark discussion and make you think because yeah. um it it's it's important to surround yourself with people that can challenge you, but in a good way, you don't want, you don't want to, you don't want a bunch of people next to you that are just bobbleheads, you know, just like, Oh yeah, that was cool. Yeah. yeah that, that's cool. Yeah. I love that analogy. I love that. Yeah. We're just, you want, you want people that are going to challenge you and, and 
the real friends that you have are going to be the friends even even uh okay the real friends oh god how am i going to say this mm. we're going to take a i'm not quick, sure like quick, i think i know where you're kind of going but i don't want to like um misguided. the okay your real friends will critique you and that's a good thing huh. It's not because it's not because they're coming from a, a spot of like they want to hurt you. It's because they're real friends. Fake friends will tell you that everything in your life is perfect and you don't have to worry about anything. But the real yeah. friends are the ones like, yeah, man, you got to you got to lose weight. You got to you got to you got to apologize to this person that that something in the past happened. You got to um whatever. It, it, it's it can go on forever, but I'm just saying, like, you got those, those are the people you want to hold dear because those people are going to be there in the time of need when you're going to need people around you. So, you really yeah. got to figure out to indiscern whether between difference the difference between a real, a good friend and a fake friend because that will shape the person you are going to be and, and how you're going to treat people in the future. Yeah. So, and Jeez, sometimes man. that really deep. That could, <laughs> yeah. and sometimes that critique or um just being there for someone it can also just be knowing when to ask the hard questions you know how are you doing with x y or z sometimes that alone is very thought-provoking to really you know foster what you need to foster mm -hmm. exactly yeah. so yeah Addressing challenges in a chill way. Hmm. All right, Zach, let's yeah. hear it. <laughs> yeah. Um, this stems kind of somewhat from the bigger picture, but, you know, we run in the people in society who, um, it's going to be their way no matter what, and everything that happens is a big deal, and I'm not trying to disparage anyone, but you know where I'm going with this. Um, so... I really think it's just important that, you know, you're going to run in the people you disagree with, you know, um, your neighbors might put up a political sign you don't like, or, you know, might do something really stupid, or, you know, you might have problems with certain organizations you have to deal with all the time. And having your core beliefs is perfectly fine, but how do you go out in the world and create an environment that's positive? So really, it's just, again, when we said chill you know really chill how can you approach things in a chill way you can still do what you need to do as far as like those like simple interpersonal things you know the you get accidentally got double charged on an online order or something you can still call the company and say hey can we fix this in a chill way instead of just getting on the phone and screaming at someone or um i mean it can be really frustrating when that happens and it's okay that it's frustrating it's really okay that that's frustrating but you know you know like instead of going from zero to ten maybe go from like zero to one <laughs> and you know don't don't go to ten unless you really have to oh for sure just we want to want to make sure that when you're addressing these problems that you have in your life that you think is a crisis just double back Mm -hmm. reevaluate the situation and don't just think about yourself too. think about think about the other people that if you address something in a certain manner what about all these other people that you could be affecting you know like if if you get on that phone and you're and you're peeved off about something that like getting double charged this random person that's just working a working a, a collar job like they didn't get up in the morning and want to be screamed at by some rando. Like, come on, guys. Like, yeah. just, and like, that's going to affect their day and, you know, make them, make them a little bit agitated or something. Cause usually it's, you know, it's just not good. Not a good situation yeah. all around. Yeah. I remember um, not that long ago, it was late at night and the people right above me have cats. And they were trying to give their cats baths. And you know how much cats hate that. So it's late at night and their cats are just losing their mind. Um, and I know some people would get all, they're, they're doing this, yada, yada. And I went, huh, that's kind of funny. And I just left it at that. Or, um, you know, sometimes in the city, people, your neighbors do loud things. Sometimes you just kind of 
got to let that go or, you know, you see something on social media that you don't like. Sometimes you got to go, yeah, I don't like that, but scroll and keep going. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of social media, guys, like if you see something like really weird on social media, that's really stupid. Just remember, that's like 5% of America's Mm -hmm. like population. Like you got to remember the crazies are the loudest. So Mm -hmm. it's just it's just kind of a fact, guys. So. I mean, if someone's going to PVO off, just remember that you're the minority and not everyone's going to think like just because it has like a hundred or like a thousand likes. Th- sorry, but that's still not five percent of the pop. So you got to. So yeah, and it seems like a lot, think, but it's not because, you know. And another thing I think of just dealing with things in a chill way and it kind of ties back. I mean, deal with people and all that. Um. I have a buddy who thinks very different than me politically, you know, um, I won't name him on podcast, but you know who it is. Mm. Um, last week we just, we both hopped in my truck and just rode around town and went out to eat and just, you know, just chatted about local stuff going on and all that. You know, we're still, we're still buddies after all that. We still message each other because it goes back to, do we have a lot of disagreements? Yes. But does he really at his core believe in being a good person? Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, so I mean, that's what's most important. Mm-hmm. All right. So, our fourth point of this evening will be finding a hobby that brings you happiness. Mm-hmm. Good one. All we right, both got Zachary. stuff there. What do I have for hobbies? Oh. I'll li- I'll just list off the short list and then I'll p- unpack it for you. Um, let's see. There's pulling trailers behind the dune buggy and falling off. There's building the trailer to put behind the dune buggy that we fell off of. There's pulling it around, letting it fall. There's also, you know, going in the woods, f- fishing on a lake, just sitting on a lake in the summer. Those are real things where you can just enjoy the people around you, enjoy the creation, and just really soak in what matters the noise doesn't matter but doing something positive with your buddies that does matter that is a good thing so those are things that bring me joy i like working out i do that with some of my buddies once in a while you know that's really another way to stay positive because you can have all these positive influences but you have to go find them and hobbies are a big one how are you going to fill your time are you going to fill your time you know, scrolling OnlyFans, or are you going to go and, you know, actually go out there and do stuff? Mm -hmm. And another thing to touch on what Zach just said, uh, spending time with your buddies and just finding a hobby that brings you joy and happiness, that doesn't just bring you happiness, that also fills you up spiritually. And that's a whole nother bucket with inside you. If you were able to fill that up, you feel literally invincible from the inside out. So if you're able to unlock that, like you're chilling. This this whole thing right here we're talking about, easy 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 cup of cake. I don't even know. Easy as pie. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I uh and I think about all those times we would spend up on the lake, especially a few summers ago. We'd go up there mid morning, come back late at night or whatever, and we we would both always, or it seemed that way in my perspective, we were both feeling great after we just spent the day outside. And we know sometimes we'd call each other on the way back from the cars and just chat. I can think of maybe one time where, and it wasn't even something else, it was something else where we had got on the phone and we're like, okay, how are we going to deal with something? But other than that, it was like, it's always super chill. Just spend your time with your buddies. And it's like, yeah, I just got to spend all day on a, on a private lake. Or, you know, mm-hmm. or we go to the public lake and we actually, you know, interact with people. <laughs> so it's, it's just, I mean, we were interacting with people. That's just a joke. But, you know, it's mm-hmm. really taking advantage of. There's a lot of good hobbies right there that you can tap into. Mm-hmm. And another thing we can touch on, just a subtopic on this. So um, hobbies versus um, like um Public, publicly like involved hobbies versus like uh sorry private hobbies versus um hobbies like with other people hobbies. like social hobbies yeah. there we go so um 
like Zach was naming off a bunch of social hobbies and, and people do get fulfilled in different ways. So for example, like extroverts, they, they, they actually regenerate off other people and staying with them and, and they recharge like that. And then some other, other people, also other people recharge introvertly as in by themselves, like maybe model trains or making a song or something like that. It, whatever works for you that makes that brings you joy that's what we're getting at it doesn't have to be with other people it just find something you like to do that doesn't hurt you or others like it just something like delicate and fun just just to get into you know just try something new like oh i i want to i like woodcraft i want to take a block of wood and i i want to start chipping away at it go ahead man like just start start cracking away at it because you might have fun doing it just anything that sparks your interest that that's productive that's outside that's not on your phone or on social media go for it that you got to try to recharge yourself my man so yeah and i also have hobbies like my guitar sitting right there Mm -hmm. those are things that i can do you know me sitting here but also sometimes i bring my guitars over by you and we just jam the whatever you know or i i have a writing hobby too and i do a lot of that here but i also have a buddy who you know, once in a while we'll catch up on that and ultimately whatever he his projects are at that or his and whatever is mine is mine, but it's still, you know, we can still connect as like as a mutual interest on that. Mm-hmm. So there is, you know, there's options to really, you know, gauge that how you want to gauge it. If, you know, what hobbies are you going to do with other people and what ones are going to be for you as well. Mm-hmm. And guys, the main goal of this is, remember, it's just to, get you outside you get you doing something it doesn't even have to be outside like zach said like me model trains piano like zach guitar or writing you know mm-hmm. it's just getting you to do something that brings somewhat of fulfillment to you without consuming out outward content so to speak mm-hmm. something like that if that's yeah. correct consuming yeah so something that you can create personally that builds you up that's what we're kind of mm-hmm. going for. That's a hobby that's worth uh, worth fighting for, you know? Um, yeah. Do you have any final thoughts on that, or do you want to move on to the next subject? No, I think we actually dove into that pretty pretty good. The next one's a good one. I actually am really looking forward to this one, if you're ready for it. Oh, I'm ready for it. How do you deal with social media in the right way? And that's very vague, but also very specific. So for me, yeah. um, every time I see something on social media, for example, like just like Instagram or something and it, and it bothers me or like it, it would bother me, it doesn't really bother me anymore because you have to remember these are just, these are just people on the internet and they're not the people that you love and, and cherish or like yeah. not love and cherish, but like. These are these aren't people that are your close friends or relatives that know who you are. You have to remember these people online, they don't know who you are. They only know you for a specific instance of yourself and they might have took that out of context. So you got to make yeah. sure that you do not take some of that stuff to heart, guys, cuz you have to remember that isn't st- stuff they say about you isn't your true self. Only know you know who you are and only the people around you that are close to you know who you are. So if you hear anything from them, that is one million times more more solid, more secure, more like something you should go off of and, and actually yeah. take into consideration because that that is that is your true self and you gotta you gotta like respect and protect that, you know? Um Yeah. And that's think, that's that's how I deal with it. But Zach, go ahead, Chief. Yeah. So I uh we've had a lot of conversations in our life group about this um and it just seems like it keeps coming back to it so something i did um maybe in september october i audited my instagram list who i was following on instagram i mean my instagram's not huge um i only follow a couple hundred people but i still went through and it didn't matter were they someone who's an influencer or were they somebody who you know was just someone i had met And the first question was, is this something that's dragging me down or is it something that's putting like a negative atmosphere out there, you know? And if 
if there were influencers who are putting out negative content or you know harmful content or same thing for even maybe someone who isn't an influencer i had to do what really sucks and i had to unfollow them and so i have it where you know the people i'm following is it's pretty tight just of you know who people i am closer with and also you know influencers that i think will actually build the world up um, and the same thing, too, on that note about social media. When I was in high school and college, especially the early years of college, I worried about, you know, I want to post this, and I hope, you know, they say you get 10% of your followers or like your thing, and it better be that or better and all that. And then I hit this point where I realized, like, I would rather have only 30 people liking my stuff if they're people that really care about me and are really involved in my life than have 2,000 people like my stuff and most of them I don't even know and the only reason they liked it is because I posted something flashy that's not what I want to be about and you know if I'm ever part you know fortunate enough to be part of something where that grows I hope that every like I get is you know from the heart if that makes sense um and I hope that every person I follow is also someone that's lifting up the world or at minimum, not putting harmful stuff out there. If that makes sense. Yeah, well said. And I told you, I told you I was going to do this just to put my money where my mouth is. And this is probably the dumbest thing I will ever do on this podcast to show everyone. You probably can't even read this. The uh oh, the top people that I'm following. So that way I can say that I put my money where my mouth is. And that's the top one. So none of those people are really like obnoxious people. Actually, some of them, I don't even know why they're the top people in my thing. But, you know, who am I surrounding myself with? And if it's bringing me down, making me feel negative, making me feel like I need to, you know, get better at social media or whatever, I probably don't need to be following that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To me, social media should be an extension of our true or a very carefully tailored extension of who we really are not what creates a drive in us just to post things that are negative or just post things for the sake of posting things Mm -hmm. that's kind of our mission here as well we just want to make sure Mm -hmm. we we create content for you guys that is is meaningful and you can get something from it and it's inspiring as well that's the main factor we want to get you guys outside. We got some. We got some cool videos coming too. Uh, mm-hmm. Me and Zach and a new member. I won't spoil his name yet, but we're all working on the new trails. And out back, we're working on the Dune Buggy Trail. So can't wait to show you guys yeah. that. It's gonna be kind of yeah, fun. Yeah, he's a good. That guy you're talking about. He's a good addition. So mm-hmm. I'm happy to see where that goes. Yeah, for sure. And then you guys will be able to see him on the channel. If I. Uh, so stay tuned for about a week. That video will probably come out then. And then uh, you guys will be able to see what we're working on. So we got some exciting stuff planned. So Yeah, things are really, um, what's the right word? Things are coming together more than I feel like they have in the past. I feel like things are really coming together. Mm-hmm. Agreed. So guys, um, if anything that we discussed in this in today's episode if anything really inspires you or you want us to reiterate on it or go or dive deeper into it please leave a comment because we will we read all the comments Mm -hmm. um and we just want to let you know that you matter and uh Mm -hmm. what you how you feel about yourself is really important to how successful you'll be if you believe in yourself that is everything but you ha- it starts with you and in, in, in believing in yourself so guys again let us know if you want us to talk about anything it, like it doesn't have to be in the podcast either if if you if there's anything you guys want us to discuss please leave comments and uh we will go over it. We will discuss it and we'll, uh, we'll try to slot it in for the next podcast. So yeah. yeah anything you got to say to that, Zach? Yeah, I mean, absolutely. I know whenever you post a video on your channel, 
I always go through and look at the comments because a there's people we know in there who sometimes post funny stuff, and b I want to see what other people are saying about it too. Mm -hmm. You know, and I once I put something up on my channel as that's growing a little bit. You know, I always you know see what are people saying about it, what do they like, and all that. It's all important. Oh, for sure, guys. So, um, yeah. So this is our uh, our third podcast, our deep dive into today's big question so hope you guys enjoyed uh the next one uh other podcasts with um we'll, we'll we'll jump into more stuff but this is our first deep discussion so that's why it took a different turn more lighthearted stuff coming up if you guys are into the deep stuff but if you are into the deep stuff you're in the right place um and uh be on the lookout we're uploading so yeah mm -hmm. Yeah. Zach will definitely be back on, so don't don't worry about Zach. He's not moving anywhere, right? I'm coming. No, I am. No, I'm here. I, <laughs> I'm I like here. what we're doing. All righty. Anything you want to say, Zach, before we uh, plug her out? It was a good one. We really we dove into a lot of heavy things, but kept it kind of light, and I like that. So mm -hmm. we this was a fun one. Yeah. All right. Well, I, got, I hope you guys have a great and wonderful day and uh, stay positive and we'll see you in the next one. Peace out. See ya.